As an IT professional, you're used to controlling a lot of computers. But how do you make tools for others to do the same? Well, you can use Remote Desktop and Automator to create workflows that others can run easily to accomplish the things they need to do with other computers. Let me show you how. So I'm going to switch to Remote Desktop here. And we have a set of computers that are available to us on this network. I'm going to choose a certain list of computers here. And then I'm going to interact with a selection of those computers. Let's just take a look and see what they're doing right now. So you can see that the computers are all available and the desktops are pretty messy. They have a lot of windows open on them. And what I'd like to do is write some kind of tool that would instantly close all the windows on those computers and clean up their desktops and then save that as a workflow. So I'm going to switch to Automator, which is an automation utility that was introduced in Mac OS X by clicking Auto, the little robot icon. And this is the default view of an Automator workflow window. And by default, you get a starting points window to help you create a workflow. In our particular case, we're just going to use a custom workflow. So I'll click the Choose button to choose a custom workflow. On the left hand side, you'll see a list of categories. And when you click a category, its related actions are listed in the column to its immediate right. Now to work with Remote Desktop and Automator, I'll switch the view from Arrange Actions by Category to Arrange Actions by Application. And instead of categories on the left-hand list, I now have a list of applications that support Automator, one of which is Remote Desktop. If I select that, you can see that the list of pre-installed Automator actions for Remote Desktop are displayed here. And there are about 32 or so Automator actions that come with the standard install of Remote Desktop. This panel over here on the right side of the window is where we create our workflow. And you create a workflow by dragging actions from the list on the left into this area and then letting go. So when you work with Remote Desktop, the first thing you need to do when creating a workflow is identify the computers that you're working with. And to do that, there's a variety of Automator actions available to you. If I search for the word selected, one of the first actions that's available is called Get Selected Computers. So this action will take the computers that I have selected in the ARD window and use those as the target for the workflow. Another option is for choosing. So if I enter the word choose, there are two different automator actions for that. Choose computer list and choose remote computer. Either one of these two actions can be used to identify specific computers on your network that you want to control. I'm going to use choose computer list and to add that to the workflow, I will drag the action from the left side list into the workflow area and let go. The interface for that action, or its view, will be displayed automatically. Within this view are controls and parameters that pertain to that particular action's abilities. In this case, it's just a simply a matter of choosing from the available computer lists in Remote Desktop and I'll choose the one called first period. Now the next action in my menu or my workflow is to create an action that will clean up the desktop or close windows. So I'll choose close and you can see it says close every window in the finder. I can drag that in after the previous action and the results of the first action make a connection to the second action. So the references to the computers that are generated by the first action get passed to the second action and its job is to close every window in the finder. It has no other optional parameters so its view is very limited in its options. And as long as we're looking at the desktop, I'll type the word desktop, and we'll choose delete desktop items. So this will put any desktop items that are on those computers into the trash. And finally, I'd like to observe the computers after we're done. I'll choose, type in OB and then drag that action in. 
and we can say zoom the observed window to full screen as a parameter. So there's my workflow or my recipe, my automation recipe. First step is to identify the computers we're working with. Next step is to close all the windows in the finder. Next step is to delete the desktop items. And the next step is to observe the computers. So now I'm ready to run my workflow by clicking the Run button. And you can see that instantly all the windows were closed on the computers and all the desktop items were deleted into the trash. Now you can save this workflow in a variety of ways. You can save it as a workflow file that's run from a menu, or you can save it as a self-running application. And in addition, if you want to make the workflow generic so that the user can pick which set of computers they want to operate on when the workflow is run, there's another option. For the first action called Choose Computer List, there's a button, gel button down here called Options. If I click that, there is a checkbox saying, Show this action when the workflow runs. I'm going to select that. So when the workflow is executed, that bit of action view will appear on the screen and I can choose dynamically which set of computers I want to target this action at. So I'll say save as plugin and the various plugin options for Automator are the Finder, so it's in part of the Finder contextual menu. You can save a workflow so that it's attached as a folder action to a folder. You can save it as an iCal alarm, an image capture event so that when a camera is connected and the images have been offloaded, then they can be processed by a workflow. You can save it as a print workflow so that it's available from the Save as PDF submenu in the print dialog or you can choose script menu, which we will here, and I'll just call it reset desktops and choose save. Now I can close the workflow and the next time I need to reset the desktops on some computers, I can go to my script menu, choose reset desktops. You'll see that the workflow starts running. I can pick the list of computers to apply the workflow to, and click continue, and there's the end result. I get to see the cleaned and reset computers. So as you've seen, you can use Automator with Remote Desktop to easily create workflows that control a vast variety of machines.